Da Vinci had great expectations from his flying machine. In fact, he wrote in his notes, the great bird will take his first flight from above the hill of Mount Ciceri filling the universe with wonder, filling with his fame all the scriptures and giving eternal glory to the nest where he was born. A 500-year-old sketch just came back to life, and it wasn't rebuilt by humans. It was resurrected by a quantum artificial intelligence, and what it found inside the drawing has stunned modern engineers. Using a quantum AI system, researchers fed in one of Leonardo da Vinci's lost diagrams, and what emerged wasn't just a calculator. It was a mechanical brain. The device came straight from Leonardo's lost sketches found in the Codex Madrid, a mechanical calculator he envisioned around 1502. Leonardo designed a mechanism of interlocking gear wheels to perform arithmetic, essentially a gear-based adding machine with 13 rotating wheels that could register digits and carry values from one wheel to the next. But here's the twist. The machine appears to follow logic too advanced for the 1500s and may even hint at something much deeper than arithmetic. The Da Vinci machine that shouldn't exist. This wasn't just a virtual simulation. The quantum AI physically recreated Leonardo's calculator using three D-printed components based on its analysis of his drawings. After feeding high-resolution scans of Leonardo's schematic and accompanying mirrored notes into the system, the AI translated the mirrored Italian annotations into plain text and identified the components sketched. Then, drawing on a knowledge base of mechanical engineering, it inferred how the parts were meant to fit together in three dimensions. But when researchers tested the physical prototype, something unexpected happened. It didn't just calculate, it behaved like it was optimizing its own mechanical sequence. As the crank turned, a series of wheels embossed with numerals rotated in perfect concert, performing addition mechanically just as Leonardo intended. The device effectively counted forward with every tenth rotation of one wheel, causing the next wheel to advance by one. What fascinated engineers was how the gears adapted under different load simulations. The quantum AI had detected a torque issue in the initial calculator model and made slight refinements to the gear sizes similar to what IBM engineers did when they built their own replica in 1968. But some experts began wondering, was da Vinci designing something recursive? A machine that could improve its own operation? And then the AI found something hidden, something Leonardo never intended anyone to see. This is what happens when you take a machine designed by a Renaissance genius, feed it into a quantum AI, and let it tell you what the machine is really doing. And it wasn't just math. It's like it was teaching itself how to operate better. Quantum AI unlocks Leonardo's secret lair. What truly sets this reconstruction apart is how the quantum AI went beyond simply interpreting the visible drawings. The system used enhanced visual spectral processing, similar to the multispectral imaging techniques that British library curators used to find a hidden sketch beneath the ink of Codex Arundel pages. The AI detected faint graphite marks below the ink, what appears to be hidden calculations, or perhaps a secondary blueprint that Leonardo never intended others to see. These marks were invisible to the human eye and previous researchers who had studied the sketches. When these faint markings were layered digitally with the main design, they formed a perfect Fibonacci spiral with gear positions locked to golden ratio intervals. This is the same mathematical sequence that appears throughout nature in shells, flower patterns, and even galaxies. Leonardo was known to be obsessed with these mathematical patterns, but hiding them within his mechanical designs. That's something entirely new. It's as if Leonardo hid a second mechanism inside the first, a device inside a device. The implications are staggering. Was this simply Leonardo's way of embedding his love of mathematical harmony into his work? Or was he attempting to encode additional functionality that couldn't be achieved with the technology of his time? If you're into mind-blowing discoveries like this, don't forget to hit subscribe 
We've got even more coming up about what this quantum AI found in Leonardo's design. Was Leonardo mapping the stars? When the quantum AI continued its analysis, it went beyond simply recreating the calculator as designed. It began to simulate the device with alternate gear alignments, exploring the full range of possibilities within Leonardo's mechanical system. What it discovered was astonishing. The rotation ratios between certain gears matched celestial distance models used in 16th century navigation. When configured in this alternate arrangement, the device could potentially calculate positions based on star movements, similar in concept to the ancient Antikythera mechanism, but with Leonardo's distinctive engineering approach. Even more intriguing, some gears output timing intervals matching the lunar cycle when operated in sequence. The 13th wheel, previously thought to be just an extra register for large numbers, aligned perfectly with the 29.5-day lunar month when turned at a specific rate. It wasn't just a calculator. It may have doubled as a mechanical star map, or perhaps a tool designed to be used on long-distance expeditions. This would align with Leonardo's known interest in navigation and his work for military patrons who funded exploration. But just when they thought they'd cracked the device, the AI noticed something else. It wasn't just the layout. It was the geometry of da Vinci's own face. Yeah, I know how that sounds. But when the AI scanned the entire sheet, it found a wave pattern, like a watermark. And get this, the facial proportions embedded in that waveform matched da Vinci's Vitruvian man almost perfectly. It's like he left his signature hidden in the design itself, but in a way that only something like our modern quantum computing could detect. Leonardo wasn't just hiding a calculator design, he was embedding himself into his work at a fundamental level. Did Leonardo try to build artificial thought? Perhaps the most startling discovery came when the quantum AI ran extensive simulations of the device in operation. When given new inputs, the machine didn't just repeat fixed outputs as you'd expect from a simple calculator. It demonstrated unexpected behavior that has left engineers puzzled. The AI noted that the mechanism preferred certain gear paths over others, effectively optimizing torque over time through mechanical means. After multiple operations, the device appeared to settle into more efficient movement patterns, as if the physical arrangement of components was adapting to reduce friction and improve performance. It appeared to learn mechanical shortcuts, when the same calculation was performed repeatedly, the mechanism would develop a sort of memory in how the gears engaged, creating a path of least resistance that improved with use. In other words, it behaved like a primitive neural net, centuries before the concept even existed. The mechanical pathways seemed to strengthen with repeated use, similar to how neural connections strengthen in a learning brain. This suggests Leonardo may have intuited principles of mechanical adaptation that wouldn't be formalized until the development of cybernetics in the 20th century. Was he attempting to recreate thought processes through mechanical means? Did he somehow recognize that repeated patterns could create learned behaviors in physical systems? What do you think Leonardo was trying to build? A calculator or something more? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what the AI really found. The gears were bones all along. As the quantum AI continued its analysis, it began comparing the internal structure of the gear system to anatomical databases. What it found connects directly to Leonardo's well-documented work as an anatomist and his fascination with the human form. One configuration of the mechanism's components mirrored the bones of a human hand with jointed articulation that closely resembled the metacarpals and phalanges. This is particularly significant because Leonardo was known to have conducted extensive dissections of human hands, studying their mechanics in extraordinary detail. His anatomical drawings of hands are among his most precise and insightful works. The resemblance isn't coincidental. 
The gear ratios and movement patterns suggest the calculator was possibly designed to be used with biometric control, a muscle-powered mechanical logic system that would respond naturally to human manipulation. The turning handle wasn't just a crank, but potentially an interface designed to harmonize with the natural movement of the operator's wrist and fingers. Leonardo may have been designing a physical extension of the human body, a machine not just built by man, but for man's body to inhabit. This blurring of boundaries between human anatomy and mechanical engineering represents a level of integrated design thinking centuries ahead of its time. This discovery aligns with Leonardo's holistic approach to understanding the world, where art, science, engineering, and anatomy weren't separate disciplines, but different expressions of the same underlying natural principles. But the real breakthrough came when the AI ran one final simulation where everything connected. This is the part that gave the engineers chills. The AI realized that the entire machine, from gear sizes to ratios to the spacing between parts, was a complete recursive algorithm. It wasn't just counting. It was calculating using loops, just like a modern CPU. Leonardo didn't just design a calculator. He designed something that resembles computational logic, a mechanical system that could potentially solve problems through iterative processes centuries before computer science even existed. Leonardo's machine was a code. After extensive analysis and simulation, the quantum AI delivered its final interpretation of Leonardo's device. It wasn't merely a calculator, but a recursive loop device built entirely in mechanical form. The arrangement of gears, when viewed holistically, revealed a system capable of feeding its own outputs back as inputs, creating iterative processing cycles. The AI classified it as a computation structure essentially a gear-based program. Unlike simple adding machines that perform one-time calculations, Leonardo's device contained the fundamental architecture for repeating operations with modified parameters. This is the basic principle behind modern computer loops and algorithms. This discovery could make Leonardo the first human to sketch a programmable logic machine, predating Charles Babbage's analytical engine by more than 300 years and Ada Lovelace's first computer program by even longer. It wasn't meant to just do math. It was designed to solve logic chains over and over, adapting as it went. The machine contained what modern engineers would recognize as conditional operations. If a certain value was reached, another sequence would engage creating branching decision paths within the mechanical system. When the IBM engineers built their replica in 1968, they recognized it as a calculator ahead of its time. But they missed the deeper structure that only quantum AI, with its ability to analyze countless possible configurations simultaneously, could detect. They saw the surface function. The AI saw the underlying logic architecture. 500 years before the birth of computers, Leonardo da Vinci may have planted the seed of artificial thought, disguised as gears in a wooden box. This reconstruction doesn't just validate Leonardo's genius. It suggests he may have intuited computational concepts that wouldn't be formally discovered for centuries. The device effectively bridges Renaissance engineering and modern computer science showing that the fundamental principles of logical processing were within reach of human understanding far earlier than we previously believed. It's as if Leonardo glimpsed the future of computation through his unique cross-disciplinary lens, encoding it in mechanical form as best he could with 16th century technology. We've always called him an artist, an inventor, a visionary. But maybe we've been missing the biggest title of all, Coder. Leonardo wasn't just drawing machines. He was developing logic systems that resemble early programming concepts just expressed through gears instead of code. If you want to see what happens when we feed more of history's lost blueprints into quantum AI, hit that subscribe button. We're just getting started. What other secrets might be hiding in the notebooks of history's greatest minds? 
The marriage of quantum AI and historical engineering is opening doors we never knew existed. The story behind the sketch. While the quantum AI's discoveries are groundbreaking, the historical context of Leonardo's calculator provides important background. The device came from the Codex Madrid, which was only discovered in 1967, a collection of manuscripts that had been lost for centuries in the National Library of Madrid. Leonardo da Vinci designed this calculator around 1502, during a period when he was deeply engaged with mathematical concepts and mechanical innovation. The original design appears to have been conceived as an adding machine, a box of 13 rotating wheels that could register digits and carry values from one wheel to the next, essentially a gear-based calculator. There's no evidence that Leonardo ever built this device during his lifetime. Like many of his inventions, it remained theoretical, perhaps due to resource limitations or because the precision engineering required wasn't yet achievable in the early 16th century. In 1968, IBM engineers took on the challenge of interpreting Leonardo's calculated drawings. They constructed a replica with slight modifications to clarify ambiguous details in the original sketch, proving that the basic design did work for computations. This was roughly 150 years before Blaise Pascal's celebrated Pascaline, which is often credited as the first mechanical calculator. Leonardo's fascination with gears, hydraulics, and automation is well documented throughout his notebooks. He designed numerous mechanical innovations, including a mechanical knight, an automaton in armor that could sit, stand, and move its arms, flying machines inspired by bird anatomy, and even diving equipment conceptualized centuries before modern scuba gear. What makes the quantum AI reconstruction significant is not just that it built a working model of Leonardo's calculator, something IBM already achieved, but that it detected deeper patterns and potential applications that previous human engineers missed. The AI's ability to analyze the entire system holistically rather than piece by piece revealed the recursive computational structure hidden within Leonardo's design. From a forgotten page to a functional machine, from ink to intelligence. Leonardo might be gone, but with tools like this, we might finally finish what he started. The combination of Renaissance genius and quantum computing power gives us a new lens to view history's innovations. Hit that like button, drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe. We've got more hidden machines to unlock. Which historical inventor should we explore next? Let us know in the comments.